It's amazing if you look at back at the last uh, 15 years of CG filmmaking, what started out being hard is now, of course, very easy, but yet each one of these films, if you can do you know, hair, then we want long hair. If you can do fur, then you want long fur. If you want to do clothing, then you want hairy clothing with fur. And then you want it dipped in water, and then you want it to blow up on fire. And so all these things just, uh, you know, there, there is this insatiable appetite to uh, invent you know, cool and interesting ways of, to, of storytelling, which is part of uh, why it's so exciting to be a, a part of a business like ours. And Anne, I think that because DreamWorks sits squarely at this intersection between technology and entertainment, you know, the partners that you have between HP and Intel, IMAX, um, RealD, I mean, how fluent do you have to be in your job to sort of work with these collaborative partners to sort of have enough knowledge of the technology, yet at the same time your job is to increase awareness of your product to the maximum amount of people, um, well, that's probably the key thing, and you know, probably one thing that Ed left out, maybe a key function of my job is to, and my team is to drive him and his team crazy because what we're always excited about is exactly what Mark is talking about is, you know, we are making two to three CG, now 3D movies per year, and we have a lot of competition at the box office, and we're really trying to get out there always with something new and different, and the challenge is to really kind of show our audience what's going to be special about what we're bringing to the screen, and the partners that you just mentioned help us do that, certainly um, HP and Intel on the technology front, and IMAX and RealD on the 3D front, but really it kind of starts with Ed and his group, and they're planning, I don't know, I'm gonna say 2012, but probably even further out, on what is going to be the next great thing in service of the stories that we're telling that then we'll be able to bring to our audience in a unique way. So I'm always kind of asking like three questions. Well, what is it and explain it to me in a way that I can understand and then try to communicate that to you know our, our movie goers. How fast can we have it is probably the hardest question because he's working on something that is gonna be hard for any of us to even imagine and then we gotta get it into a place where we can show it to a potential movie goer in a way that they're gonna say, wow, that's gonna be unique and great when I see it on the screen, and then what are going to be the vehicles actually to show that? So that's been probably my biggest challenge, and, and on the marketing side is the technology is so probably far ahead of the vehicles in which to display it. So, you know, in the movie theaters even, for example, probably, you know, we had our first 3D movie a little over a year ago with Monsters vs. Alien. The only place to throw a, show a 3D trailer was on the Jonas Brothers 3D. So that had some smaller audience than this year with our second movie, we trailered on Avatar and Alice, you know, two, two of the biggest movies of the year. So that was in a one year period and, and I still think we're kind of in the infancy of that, but it gets really exciting when you think about the places where we'll really be able to display the innovations that they're working on in the future to, to get the audience in to see our stuff.